Tabby. Say hello to everybody on YouTube. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi to everybody on YouTube. Tabby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, that's bad. So, <clears throat> what I've decided, I decided to give up on the uh, circuits here. I burned up uh, one too many transistors. Um, there's a 3904 that uh, did not fear too well. It, uh, yeah, it burned up. <laughs> not only that, also smoked a little variable resistor as well at the same time. So I've ordered a uh, another module online, it's a timer module, uh, 0, to 9, 0 to 999 minutes or 0 to 999 hours. Um, you can even adjustable latch time on the relay so again all I needed to do is uh, trigger the, uh, the line on this module on the uh, play that's all I need to do so uh, this is what I'm going to do with the relay it's going to trigger this but also the relay is also going to close another set of contacts on the other side that's uh, going to keep the radio while the audio output from the speaker or from this unit is going to go to the microphone input of the radio so yeah radio or radios. Um, I can do it with one radio, I'm not sure uh, if I'm going to be able to do it with two of them simultaneously, but uh, we shall see. Anyways, now we got to clean up this mess and uh, we got a couple projects uh, lined up and building time and circuits is not one of them. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get this mess cleaned up and uh, see where we are. Alright guys, well, <clears throat> this is the project that I'm going to be working on again, the uh, Cherokee CBS-1000. Um, it's just a CB radio base station. Uh, these were put out, what, 2010, 2011, somewhere in there. Anyway, the company is long gone, out of business, and I guess this is his legacy left behind. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I done a, I put a external DC power on the radio. I done that, and uh, I've been trying to track down a noise in the transmitter section of this radio. And uh, today I decided to also hook up a uh, a mobile chicken band radio up here instead of using my portable receiver. I said I'll use a use a chicken band radio. There's hundreds of them things kicking around, cheap. So uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to show you the noise that this thing makes on transmit, and it's very annoying. Um, I thought I had it uh, fixed a while ago, but uh, no, the problem's back. So uh, let's have a listen to the noise that this radio is making, and uh, I'm having a very hard time trying to track down the cause of it. Um, it's not in the power supply section of this radio. I bypassed the power power supply. I've even replaced, I don't know, dozens of capacitors in this thing. It's not capacitor related. I don't know. And it's not power supply related. Not in the power supply section anyways. Regards to transmitter, well, that's yet to be determined. But, let's, uh, this is what it sounds like on transmit. Let's move you up here so you see. Very annoying. So, we're going to see if we can fix this problem, whatever it is. Uh, last time, I uh, just readjusted the bias in the, uh, on the outputs there and it seemed to have cleared it up, but uh, it's back again. So anyways, let's, uh, let's peel our apart and see if we can't uh, do something with this mess. 
Okay, folks, I'm down around the VCO here. Um, let's see if I can't key the radio here and push on the board. When I push on the board, the, uh, the noise actually disappears. Down around that connector. Hmm, there might be a loose connection down here. Either on these pins, or there's a broken trace on the board around the VCO here. Oh. Well, let's uh, let's dig a bit deeper, shall we? All right, let's see if I can't show you. Um, so basically, the VCO is right here, and toward the front of the radio. There's a couple of connectors down there. So if I key the radio without touching anything, you get that. Now if I take a little screwdriver, push down the board a little bit, take pressure off, on, off, on, off, on. Test one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Appears to be a broken trace, broken wire, broken connection, whatever, down in this corner of the board. All right, now we're getting somewhere. All right, so let's uh, let's get the bottom cover off her here and uh, have a better look, see what's going on here. The first thing we're gonna do is turn on some iron. <laughs> That's right, turned on. Anyway, so basically what I'm gonna do here is go over resolder the connections on the circuit board here for the plugs that goes from the front board to the main board there's a some a couple here and here all the way across the front here we're gonna first start off by resoldering those and uh, hopefully by luck it's just a bad solder joint um, I'm thinking right now what it is is possibly a bad ground and it's feeding I guess the CPU or processor noise from the front board. Only I can figure it is sending it back into the main radio instead of the signal being grounded the way it should be. Uh, that's only has a guess here, folks. Only guessing, but uh, I guess that guess is good as any. That the digital noise is being superposed over the power supply of the radio. So once the solder iron gets warmed up here, we'll uh, we'll resolder some connections here and. Uh, See how much trouble we can get ourselves into, hey? Okay. Alright, so our iron's all wearing up. So let's do some soldering here, shall we? And we're going to reflow all the connections from the front board to the main board. It is possible that it could be a bad solder joint from the factory. It happens. We may be dealing with a broken trace here, which is also quite possible by having a press on the board. It's a dead giveaway. Then if the problem disappears when you push it on the board, then yeah. It's either a broken trace or a broken connection somewhere. But sometimes just reflowing everything. Alright, so we have those connectors re-soldered, so let's power up and see if that's what it will. No. Alright, so we're going to solder some more. I'm going to solder all around that corner. Every solder connection is there. So, let's get at her. Solder joint, solder joint, gotta get the solder joints. Every solder joint here now is getting a smack. I had to say the uh, some of the soldering here from uh, from Cherokee is not all that great. I have to admit. Traces have solder, yes, but it's not the greatest. So I'm going to 
to fix that right now. Let me reapply a new solder. Because it don't take much sometimes, folks. Sometimes it don't take much. We hear that new flying music there in the background every Sunday morning on VOCM. I think it's VOCM. They have the potluck show, they call it. Yeah, YouTube will probably pick up on it and get out of the jury, but who cares? When we first time to reflow the whole board, let me tell you. I had to do this one time, I think it was with a RCI 2950, if I'm not mistaken. I had to reflow the whole circuit board. And that's when I had my old Arena 63 YouTube channel. I had a video on that. By the way, folks, uh, who remembers the the transplant I done <laughs> years ago when I took the guts out of a TRC449 and transplanted it into a TRC458? Boy, that was a trip. <laughs> that was a job. Not impossible, as you've seen. Enjoyed that one. Didn't have to clean up the old channel selector. Completely disassembled it. Solder, do I have to go back here? I wonder how far back the board am I going to have to go here? Thing is, it could be right underneath the BCO board on the BCO shield, so I may have to take that off yet. We shall see. Alrighty, let's see if that uh, does it. One, two, three, test one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. Testing one, two, one, two, one, two. So let's go down on the board now and uh, and see if we can make the noise come back here. As you can see. It has disappeared. So folks, there you have it. It could have been any one of these connections. Any one of them. And again, reflowing your board. Test one, two. Test one, two. Hello, hello, audio. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's the Cherokee CBS 1000. Cherokee CBS 1000. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bad solder connection. Gotta love that. So yeah. Testing one two one two one two three one two three. Test one two one two three one two three. Anyways, let's uh, put it back together here, shall we? And uh, we'll push we'll push the board down from the other side just to verify that we've got the solder joint this time. Anyways, let's uh, let's get the car that's back. When I press on the board, it goes away again. So I almost got it fixed. So now I'm gonna, I got the VCO shield taken off. So now we're gonna solder everything in there. Solder everything in the VCO now. VCO may need to be <laughs> retuned after this. I don't know. But hopefully not.
Definitely a bad connection here somewhere. Just gotta find it. Know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Inputs and the outputs and the VCO. Reset are all in now. We got her all taken apart here. It's pretty much everything around the VCO now. Read, reflowed. See what it does, if anything. Before I just press down here on the ECO over here, it caused it to happen. Test one, two, one, two, one, two. There we go. Alright, let's put the VCO shield back on. The shield cover put back on. Let's do our bounce test here. Test one, two, one, two. We're back on her again, I suppose. <laughs> Give her another whirl. See if she'll uh, see if she'll uh, stay normal. <laughs> Be right back. Well, folks, she is done and put back together. The Cherokee CBS One Thousand. Uh, while I was in there, I also replaced the squelch control. Um, I guess <laughs> the knob was removed and it pushed back in. It actually damaged the volume control of the shaft. It would push out the, the little plastic or Teflon spacer on the inside of the control. So I had to replace that with another control. So now the squelch control works like a squelch control. Look at that working. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And the interference has not come back. The radio has been set up now almost a couple hours. And I haven't had hit Twitter since. So, yeah. She is fixed, finally. So, I need now is somebody to talk to. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, 
Private CB radio nowadays. Nobody's on them anymore. And it's the same up in this neck of the woods too. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope they are of some benefit to you. And anyways, 7-3 and all the best. Unit 63, out.